Good afternoon, friends. Uh, we are in Hyderabad, uh, the land of uh, some outstanding cuisine. And I have with me none other than Venkat Kohli. Venkat is, uh, you know, the quintessential uh, entrepreneur and investor. And uh, we, we, we were having, and he's based in Dallas, by the way, and, but we're both in Hyderabad today. So Venkar, it's great to have you with me on this uh, discussion. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. So, so Venkar, um, I know you've 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 been on this entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey of yours. So it'll be great for us to hear something about you know how how you got started and uh, where has this journey actually taken you to? Sure. Uh, thanks, Thomas. Thank you for taking time to do this interview. Uh, a little background about uh, how I got started. Uh, I used to work for a big four services company. So yeah. uh, part of what I was doing a lot of was helping enterprises in their you know, transformational journey. Right? Sure. Um, what happened is I always had this thing to do you know, something on my own. So right. uh, when I decided to do that, I just jumped in. You know? I just started doing it. Uh, so then we started a services company initially, which we, we scaled up over the years right. into a pretty decent mid-sized large company right now. Um, and I, over the period, what I've seen is uh, products have always been of interest for me. You know, sure. uh, I, I've seen a lot of products, did demos of hundreds of products. You know, uh, what I've seen is there's always something that our company was missing, and that right. was what drove me towards you know looking at products and also investing into products. Right. Yeah. No, wonderful. So that's been your entrepreneurial start, but uh, I know you're also a prolific investor. Right, and uh, you're investing on your own. You're investing through some uh, VC funds. Uh, so, when did that journey begin, and uh, and what's been your experience there, really? Uh, so, um, like I said, you know, as as a part of what I was doing, you know, I was always evaluating products and platforms that I could use, as yeah. well as what I saw is there was a lot of gaps in these products, right? Yeah. Um, so, I was always trying to identify early stage companies or companies that I could invest in. So, earlier, what I used to do is do individual investments in right. these companies. Right. And generally, what the, the constraint was that they were smaller tickets. Right. So the investments would be at a smaller amount uh, at an early valuation. Right. Uh, but then lately, what I've been doing is also focusing on a growth fund and also investing into through funds. Right. Because that is where you know we, we could invest better yeah. and smarter into larger funds. Right? right. And what would be your advice to, let's say, a potential investor? Let's say there is someone sitting with... Uh, on, a, on a few million dollars and they're keen to invest and we know a lot of people who would like to invest so what would be your advice to them about how should they go about it um, see again capital is a big thing right now um, right now especially at this phase uh, it having capital is important right uh, if you have if people have capital uh, there are multiple ways I would go about it is uh, finding out where they would want to invest in it could be in any technology. It could be B two C. You want to invest in B two B. You want to invest in aerospace. You want to right. build, build rockets. You can do any investments. Right. But I think you just need to identify and figure out which are the right avenues to do it. Right. Right. Multiple ways to do it. You can do early stage. You can go and invest in accelerators right. and early stage companies. Uh, you also can invest in, you know, growth funds right now. Right. And even. Uh, I, I don't know if I should say that you invest in stocks because that's not doing that well right now. But right. Uh, but there is a good potential if you have capitalists to invest in uh, you know growth funds at this point. Yeah, sure. So also Venkat, you you run a number of companies as an entrepreneur uh, and you've invested in a number of companies. So is there any specific uh, company that you're running right now which where you see some very significant upside uh, in the in the not too distant future? Uh, so currently, I'm uh, the CEO of Urvin. Um, right. So Urvin is an AI-powered talent intelligent platform. Uh, primarily, what the platform does is it helps companies manage talent. Right? When I say manage talent, is in terms of uh, hiring talent, in terms of managing the talent that they hire, right. and also in terms of providing the talent to uh, their own customers. Right? right. A lot of services companies use our platform because it is one consolidated platform end to end. Yeah where they can sell the talent, hire the talent, and also manage the talent. And I see a very good potential in this, especially uh, there are a lot of other platforms uh, in this space, a lot of uh, ATS platforms, but there are very few platforms that are cross-border. Um, and if you see a lot of these companies, they have presence in multiple regions, and there is no single platform that fits in, especially when there's multi-region. So 
So I think that's the yeah. main uh, differentiator that we yeah. have. So, so, so Venkat, uh, doing some uh, crystal ball gazing, uh, what does the future hold? I mean, you, you're doing so many things, so many exciting things. There is Uru in which you're growing. Uh, is there any other exciting project that you are likely to launch or thinking of or uh, yeah, something exciting? I'm sure, I mean, you're always up to something exciting. Yes, Come yes. on, tell us that. Um, so right now, um, I'm always looking for companies that are uh, thinking of uh, future technology, right? Right. Um, there's a lot of, uh, uh, I've, I've evaluated, you know, uh, cryptocurrency and, you right. know, NFTs and all that. Yeah. But um, I've done a fairly a small investments in these, but I've not gone very aggressive in there. Right. Um, in terms of what I see in future is um, adoption of technology is going to go up, right. uh, especially not just in the US, in other countries. So there's a huge opportunity, especially if you have a technology in India. Yeah. Adoption has gone up for sure. Like if you ask me five years ago, uh, companies in India were not adopting to technology as they are right now. Right. So that's a big differentiator I see. Um, Subscription as a service is still going to be a big part of you know what companies right. are going right. to do. Sure. Yeah, so great Venkat. I think uh, those were some uh, great uh, nuggets of uh, wisdom and some experience that you've uh, actually shared with us. Uh, and I'm sure there is some uh, some great information for people who want to be investors and who want to be entrepreneurs. And it's always very inspiring for me to meet uh, people who are first generation entrepreneurs and investors. Thank you. So thank Thanks you so much, Venkat. It was wonderful having you. Nice chat. to see you. Thanks. Yeah.